there's nothing like being in the military. Being around men and women who've got your back, doing incredible things in incredible places. Getting out there in the world. I've been to almost 40 different countries. One way or another, you're part of a team. It's not only a higher calling, I think it's just about the highest calling. As the years pass, you know, I'm more and more proud to be a military member. I'm hoping that exposure will propel me to my next chapter in my life. Being here, you know, it really brings back a lot of memory. I got out of the Army soon after I was engulfed in uh, the streets. I think I really had a, a difficult time trying to adjust to the civilian life as well. The drug addiction did render me uh, homeless. Over here, it was, uh, used to be an abandoned home here in the woods, and, and really just that's where I would sleep at. There wasn't nothing there to say, go over here, you can get some help here. There's no training program to make you a civilian. It does not exist. When you get out, you have to redefine yourself. What's your new mission? Who's your new unit? And what are the services that you and your family need to be successful? What's the opposite of late? Early. OK. So I am late to go to bed. I am late for recess. We came to Charlotte in 2015. When you're in the military, I feel like you're in this separate world. It can be a, a difficult transition. When we start seeing these situations of 30-year-olds, some of them wounded, some of them dealing with the after effects of war, wanting to look at Charlotte, you, you, your heart just goes out to them. You say, that's my son, that's my daughter. When I got to the Charlotte area and I asked uh, many of the veterans I met, you know, well, which of these organizations are, are the ones that are really worth our time and investment in? Every single one of them, their first answer was Veterans Bridge Home. Most veterans were successful in their first career. And so why should we assume that veterans, when they get out, are not going to be successful? They want to find the right job, the best career. They want to find a safe, affordable place to live with their family. They want to find the right friends and social capital, right? Build that community. One of the things I was pleasantly surprised with, the Charlotte area, the size and strength of the veterans network here. We have a monthly lunch, we have coffees, we have volunteer projects to give veterans that sense of service, that sense of camaraderie, the same way they did when they were in uniform. We let you tell us what you need, and we find the partners in our community that do that best. So since Veterans Bridge Home started eight years ago, the number one need we've seen in that time is employment support. They want to find their next career and a great company to work for. I filled out an application, sent my resume, and I was called for an interview. And I got the call, like, when can you start, you know? And, uh, I'd like to thank Veteran Bridgeman for that because uh, I don't know, I probably, I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for them. Just because they take that uniform off doesn't mean we shouldn't continue to invest in them and in their success. Our job is to incorporate them into our community, provide them with the support they need to get started, and once they do, they're going to give much more than they get. One, two, three, five. We're working out this morning. That's what we're doing here at five in the morning. Two, three. I'm very much into fitness. I really do enjoy the workouts, enjoy just kind of the camaraderie. A couple months after we met her, she starts showing up on her motorcycle to, to our workout. Two, three. I unfortunately had some, some car trouble, but my motorcycle was my alternate means of transportation and I was not going to miss a workout. <laughs> <laughs> we reached out to our friend Stephanie at Caliber Collisions, who has a program that helps veterans get, get new wheels. Hey, Carissa. Carissa, they're presenting you this special gift as a thank you for 20 years of military service to our country. This newly restored Hyundai Sonata. Carissa, this car is yours. 
Nothing like this has ever happened to me. It was truly a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm blessed. I can just say that, that I, I truly feel blessed. Every veteran who we help, who then turns around and helps two more veterans, is just a combat multiplier. I personally know the benefit of having veterans in, in my workplace. I am now a hiring manager myself. I'm really grateful that I have an outlet where I can help other veterans. We get much more out of these wonderful relationships than they will ever get. At Veterans Bridge Home, we, we say we're making our community stronger one veteran at a time. If we open the doors and make the connections our veterans need, they will continue to serve and they will strengthen our community even more than we can imagine.